What's up everyone, it's Liz. Today, I'm gonna show you how to reconcile your accounts in QuickBooks Online. I know this can be intimidating at first, but I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. So, let's get started. Okay, so here we are in QuickBooks, and the very first thing that we're gonna do before we even begin to do the bank reconciliation is we're gonna head on over here to transactions and bank transactions. And all I wanna do is make sure that everything is cleared out, nothing is hanging, because if something is in here, that means it's not gonna get captured on the bank rec and it's gonna throw the numbers off. So once I make sure that's clear, I'm gonna click right here where it says reconcile. And I have my bank selected. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at the beginning balance on the bank statement. So on the bank statement, we see this is our statement date, that's the ending date. Here's the period that it covers. We have our opening balance and right here we have the ending balance. Now this is really important because we want to make sure that we know exactly what time frame we're capturing our opening balance and our ending balance. So we need to note that the opening balance is $1,007,800. So I'm going to go back to QuickBooks and as you notice, there is no beginning balance and that could be because this is the first time we're reconciling this account. So we're going to make a journal entry for this. So right here, I'm going to click new and journal entry. And as you can see, I dated this journal entry as 6-1. I selected my bank and I'm gonna debit the bank by that 1 million because it's going to increase on the debit side whenever I'm dealing with assets. And then I'm going to credit our opening balance equity by the same amount. And I just labeled it in here as opening balance. So I click save. And now I'm going to enter my ending balance. My ending balance was 591 800 and my ending date was 6.30. So I hit start reconciling. Now what typically happens is if you matched everything from this section that we went over earlier, you're gonna see a bunch of green boxes, which means they were matched. And generally that's what's gonna happen, so it should automatically match itself and reconcile. But if not, we can do this one by one. So if I select each item and I just go back and forth between what I have in here and what's on my bank statement, I'm going to balance out. So your goal is always to end here at zero. But what I always tell people is check what your payments were, check what your deposits were before you reconcile. If you have anything that's hanging in your bank rack, that's a red flag. Now, the only time something would be hanging is if it hasn't cleared yet. So that can happen if you write a check and the person hasn't cashed it yet and the month is over and that hasn't been withdrawn, that's okay. A lot of times too, when you're doing transfers, sometimes they could take a day or so for those transfers to happen. So you are gonna have something hanging and typically that'll be at the end of the period that you're reconciling. But if you're noticing that something's hanging that was from the beginning of the month or the middle of the month and it just doesn't look right, it could be that you just have a duplicate or maybe you entered something expecting it to come out and it didn't so you can change the date or you could just delete it completely. But you wanna make sure that you get down to zero and they have nothing hanging unless it's something that's gonna reconcile within the next month. So once I see this green box right here, I'm gonna click finish now and done. And we just reconciled our accounts. You do the same thing for every account that you have. So if you have a savings account, you would select it. If you have credit cards, it's the same process. And that's it. Make sure you check out the other two videos that I made. One is on five common mistakes that people make when they reconcile their accounts. And the other is how to fix a beginning balance when it's off. I'll link those videos below. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful tips and tricks. Until next time, ciao.